Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 18, and as you can see, we're back at Yargul. And I wanted to show this off. There's an amygdala. We haven't encountered that yet, but there's an amygdala resting upon a child corpse with a cage from his head. I believe that cage represents the school of Mensis, and we'll get to that way later in the game. So let's not talk about that for now. But don't worry, I will address it when it comes up. We're going to go fight an optional boss. Not down here. Over here. I love that, man. That is so freaky. And all these beasts jailed up. Look at them. They're different than the normal enemies because they've already turned. So let's go past these guys. Over here, and into this little cave section, broken down wall, jump down here, go back here, and if you need help, I'm gonna summon them. Summon Defector Antal. So this is one of the DLC, I believe, NPCs that they've added as well. They've added way more using the old Hunter Bell, so they've added way more NPCs to help you. The base game, which is really cool. Wearing Henwicks for this fight is awesome. Or er, Henrix, excuse me. Armors, uh, help, and he's wearing the Yargol set. Look at that. He's using the church pick. Using Henrik's set is uh, great because it has a lot of bolt defense. And there's Dark Beast Parl. And he has a lot of bolt, can deal a lot of bolt damage. Because he falls down. Charged up. Already got. Spark Hunter badge. So good. So good. Let's light the lamp and read the Spark Hunter badge description. I didn't even need to use the blood of Adela, and I wanted to. Anyway. Badge crafted by the secret uh, by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the healing church for his friends. Archibald was fascinated by the blue sparks that emanate from the hides of the dark beasts and dedicated his life to an artificial reproduction and style of inquiry that incidentally closely followed the methodology of Bergenworth. Really interesting. So he used the same methodology as Bergenworth to create artificial sparks from Dark Beasts like that. So you open this and we're back in Old Yarnum. This was the door that we could not open. So now if we have the Spark Hunter badge, we've defeated... Um, Dark Beast Parl, we can come back and go through the area. Just run back and go talk to that hunter that was shooting at us and get an item from him, which is really, really cool. When I first discovered this, I thought this was so slick. So, go through here. And this way. And 
we're going to be tackling the Forbidden Woods, the rest of it, hopefully, in this episode today. I will do my best to get a lot of it done. I just hate the dang area. It is tough. I've loaded up on Molotov cocktails. Because you're going to need them. And some poison. Uh, antidotes. Excuse me. Uh, I want to bring a ranged weapon. And I've actually, and I'll show, I've actually upgraded the Kirk Hammer, even though we can't use it, and the Tenitris that we picked up in the last episode for this episode as well. Uh, uh, up as much as I can. And we're going to be getting a bunch of Twin Bloodstone Shards to help us upgrade a whole bunch of weapons. So I'm going to try to v switch it up. So look, come up here. He's not hostile, and he'll talk to us. Let's talk to Jura. Well, well. How did you get in here? It's no matter. What brings you to old Yarnum? I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above and mean no harm to anyone. If you still insist on hunting them, then I will hunt you first. We're cool, bro. You understand me? Spare the beasts of old Yarnum. Yes, very good. I no longer dream, but I was once a hunter too. There's nothing more horrific than a hunt. In case you fail to realize, the things you hunt, they're not beasts. They're people. One day you will see. One day we'll see. It's time you got going. We're already marked, and we'll turn into a beast. I have no use for it anyway. So Jura's protecting the people of Old Yarnum, and he gives us the Powder Keg Hunter for agreeing not to, and an emote, uh, not to attack any of the beasts or the hunters. What is it? Surely I need not repeat myself? Go, I say. You have the whole night to dream. Make mm. the best of it. That's a lot of info he just gave us. We have the whole night to dream. Okay. Um, let's read the badge that he gave us. Badge crafted by the Power Kegs, the heretics of the workshop. The Powder Keg's adoration of complex design and big booms culminated in weapon designs that contrast those traditionally of the workshop. The late Powder Kegs blessed their souls, had their motto, if a weapon ain't got kick, it ain't, it just ain't worth it. Heretic. Are you? Let's switch this out with, uh... <laughs> Let's use a bold hunter mark and go back to the dream. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. We just, uh... Knocked out Dark Beast Carl in a couple minutes, which was pretty good. Want to take strength up to 20 and then work on skill up to 20. And maybe arcane, I'm thinking, so we can test out the other weapons that we get, but. Welcome home, good hunter. Because I do want to do the DLC. What is it you desire? Very well, let me. And I forgot to equip the one rune that gives you more. Blood echoes, so let's do that. Oh no, we have it. Oh no, there it is, the moon room. Want that. Um it's okay. We might might want actually more blood vials. So let's, uh, get them.
You never know, because this area sucks, so. Oh, we can still fortify the sauce. We really might, but it's a lot like this. I want to get the Whirly Gigs on the, the uh, DLC, but... We're going to be using the sauce barrel on this episode. So let's go back to. That's the Forbidden Woods. Well, we're going to take this slowly. Hey, Walter. Can't wait to get your armor. Take the elevator down. And I like using the um, rifle spear here because it's got excellent range. I believe we picked up the item here. We did. Okay. Now we're gonna go this way. to the right here. Drop down. Hopefully we can make this jump. We did. Gonna be an enemy here that we want to backstab. Ah, couldn't do it. Nice. And we get twin bloodstone shards, and we see Oh, the snakes in this area. Oh, the snakes. Let's go back the path. I want to clear out and get all the items, because there's an armor set in this area. You gotta go to two specific places to get it, and a couple of runes in this area. I like to beat those guys, so we're gonna go to the right first. Shining coins here. Shining coins actually help you out in this area a lot. Um, I'm gonna go right. This is the main path. I'm gonna go right of the main path right now. Keep heading right. I do want to come back and do the whole thing. Go this way. The snake's over here. We attack him with range. It's a little easier. And then we get a madman's knowledge with someone praying to this altar right here. And then notice the woods. All these stones look exactly... Look at those. They look exactly like the amygdala head, and they look exactly like the tonsil stone. These are called the Forbidden Woods, and they're called the Forbidden Woods for a reason. They lead to Bergenhor. Why they're called... I believe why they're called the Forbidden Woods. There's so many fossilized relics...
Oh god, this was stupid of me. Back up. That's what I think is going on here. This way. Oh, we've already got this. See, we have so much of the area to do. I like to stick to the right and then uh, clear out the enemies. And move back around. Three hits and take care of them. More bloodstone shards, which is nice. Let's see two of them, so let's take care of this one. Two, three. go anywhere up here, but we'll get up to that ledge. Check here. So we have not forgotten anything. Bloodstone shards, more blood vials, awesome. Now we're up here on this level. Very cool. Very cool. I just want to make sure we don't forget anything because, like I said, there's a couple of runes, there's a couple of shortcuts we want to do. They're actually going to be hiding, the runes are going to be hiding behind, like, these giant statues, like, right here. Um, so, that's why. Giant gravestones, they look like. Gotta get that eventually. I believe that is the helmet or the armor set of something. But I gotta remember to go up and get that. Let's go this way. Okay, so let's back up real quick because I've got to equip the Molotovs. How you take care of those? Whew. Got six left. We're gonna need to use those sparingly. Ah, these are the twin blessings. It's okay. That is O A O K. -okay. Leave behind there, we get a rune. First of the area. Thick cold blood. And a 
as someone is praying, we get the clear, deep sea room. Secret care, uh, symbol left by Kara Woonsmith of Bergenworth. The transcription of the Great Ones in human voices depicts downreaching currents. The rune means deep sea and grants augmented resistance. Great volumes of water serve as bulwark, guarding sleep, and augur of the eldritch truth. Overcome this hindrance and you seek what's yours. An augur of the eldritch truth. Hmm. 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 I impression of Siegmeier there. We'll talk more about that later as the story reveals itself. But you keep hearing about the Eldritch Truth. So much um, hints to what's going on. So much, uh, you know, hints to Lovecraft. And, uh, I mean, directly referencing a lot of Lovecraftian themes. Um, which is really, really cool, but it's the main path. We're going to go this way. Here, uh, another one over there. I don't think let's go this way. But... That is how you get waylaid. This way. Get this item. From Bloodstone Shards. Got a little bit back. That's okay. Go up here. More madman's knowledge. Up here. This is the left side, basic, or the, yeah, left side when you come up here. We didn't do this part yet. My health back. More twin bloodstone shards. See, this is the main path. We're back here. Take 
care of any issues that would come away. Thought there was one over here, but I guess not. Here, got everything here. And that's kind of how I like to take care of the first area of this. Ah. I missed you! Miss anything over here? I did not. They did miss you, and they can creep up on you, so you want to use the sound design to your advantage, because you can hear them. Always get lost in the woods. Alright, here's the main pack. Hear a lot of stuff down there. That's a hidden path down there. And you see some nasty alien creature stuff. Let's go up here real quick. Tiny coins reveal. Oh my god. Okay. Got about this guy. A jerk. get our first blood ch bloodstone chunk. Nice. Want to get surprise on these guys, but let's go up here first. Make you off. Got everything. Yeah, I believe we did. I believe there there was the first ruin over there. I just want to make sure again. Get so lost. So we do want to go down that hidden path. It's going to suck. You can get easily one shot there. By the aliens, by the kin. This, that, get that, 
And most importantly is what you want is this. Oh no, that's not the rune. Huh. Is this the rune? That is the rune, yes. The deep sea rune, hidden behind that. We get a couple of sea runes, which is really interesting for the lore. Runes means deep sea, grants augmented resistance of great volumes of water, serve the bulwark guarding sleep, the augur of the eldritch truth. Alright. Well, we go back. Go this way. Do this one out. This guy come. I think there's another one. Yeah. Another one. This guy down there. We don't want to mess with. Full health back. Arky Blood Gemstone. Arky Blood Gemstone. A lot of these. Get more frenzied cold blood here. Do not want to go down there yet. There's a shortcut. We'll get that later. Keep going this way. the main path. And nice and easy. Leave up there is the uh, one of the armor sets. This is Friends of Cold Blood. Yeah. Next boss in this area is really fun. And I think after we defeat the Shadows of Yarnum, we want to uh, do those two. We summon snakes. Price of one. Oh, that. And then you hear a piggy. There he is. If we can sneak up behind him. Problem though. No problemo. You hiding anything over here? Is it up here? Yes, that's what we want up there. Graveyard robe. That's the helmet up there. Completely forgot how to get it, but we're going to try to get it. Completely forgot how to get that dang helmet, and I want it so bad. Gotta remember, we dropped down from there. So, 
That is down there and there. Okay, so this is going to be the secret path, I believe, to the nasties. Down there. But since we're safe here, let's read about it. Robe doors of graveyard forbidden woods. Countless bl bloodied ritual tools hang from its back. Willem kept two loyal servants back at Bergenworth. When, when they were sent to the labyrinth, they encountered the Eldritch Truth. Went mad. One became the password gatekeeper, which we just encountered. And he was dead. We encountered before we got to, to, to Forbidden Woods. While Doris became the graveyard of the forest. Graveyard of the forest. Both remained loyal, even in madness. So, Lor uh, Willem kept... These two Laura's servants, one of them guarded the gate with the password, and then this guy who wore the Graveguard world, uh, Doris. It's really, really cool. And I like the set, actually. Um, might put it on when I get the helmet by the Shadows of Yarnum, but. Wow. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. Um, I am going to off screen get back to where I was because that was some. I, I can't believe that happened. Um, I'm kind of in shock right now. That's never happened to me before. I just completely got screwed. I got stuck. I couldn't even move. And what the heck happened? How are you supposed to survive that? That is insane. They just all hit me at once. Wow, I'm having awful luck today. Um, that was the biggest BS I've ever seen in my entire life. So on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, go punch a wall <laughs> and, and get back to that point. And I'll start the episode from that point. Um, thanks so much for watching. I apologize for that death. That should have never happened. But of course, the game cheats. So you got to roll with it. Have a good one. Take care.